Okay, I am starting uh, again. So the covalent bond means the when here the AB molecule is forming. How it is so forming? By forming of the covalent bond. So when the coming the covalent bond, the covalent bond means is the bonding electron pair is there. So this covalent bonding electron pair is equally sharing by A and equally sharing by the B. So covalent bond means the the uh, bonding electrons. This bonding electrons, bonding electron pair is equally shared by two atoms. Okay, here the A atoms and the B atoms. So two atoms are sharing this bonding electrons the equally. Then this bond is formed covalent bond. Okay, so this covalent bond could be two types. One will be the sigma bond. Another is the pi bond. So first, I am going to the sigma bond. So this is the designation uh, to refer the sigma bond. So sigma bond is designed by that one. So when it is a sigma bond, uh, so it is a single. So when it is a sigma bond, so that means this is a A atoms and the B atoms. Okay, this is a sigma bond. Now the sigma bond can be formed by the various type of orbitals overlap. But before that, I am going to about the sigma bond. This type of the covalent bond is formed by the end to end or the head on uh, head overlap of the bonding orbitals. So whatever orbitals is present here, suppose these orbitals and this orbital is present here. Okay, this head to head overlap could be there. Form the sigma bond, uh, the overlap of the two orbitals, this overlap of the two orbitals will be always end to end of our life, end to end of our life, or we can say this is a head on of our life, this is a head on of our life, head on of our life of participating two orbitals. Okay, so, so these two orbitals, the overlap will be head on of our life or end to end of our life. So, there is possibility, first possibility is SS overlapping. What is mean by SS overlapping? Here the S S means the S orbital. Huh. When this two S orbital, this is one S orbital, this is a spherical shape. Already I have told about this spherical shape. This is the another the S orbital. So this is the two S orbital. When these two S orbitals are overlapping head on head, or we can say head on overlap, or we can say into end overlap, then we can say it is a sigma bond is forming by the S S overlap. So this sigma bond is forming by S S overlap. Okay. So end so end to end overlap. Another point would be S and P overlap. S and P overlap. S and P overlap. It is a good that S S is the spherical. S is the spherical orbital. But P is a dumbbell space. It is a positive and this is the negative case. So there is a chance of end to end overlap and there is a chance of not end to end overlap. Okay, when they are uh, uh, going to overlap head on head on head overlap or end to end overlap, then they are forming SP overlapping. So this is a SP overlap. So this is a SP overlap. Here another point is that we know that a orbitals is positively charged, but when this is a p orbitals, this p orbitals has a two lobes. One is the positive lobes, another is the negative lobes. Okay, and this also uh, phase to phase. This is the positive phase, positive phase, uh, or we can say is the in phase overlap, not out of phase overlap. Uh, in phase overlap. Already that term I have told in the previous class. You can say. Is the out of phase overlaps and the in phase overlap or the positive phase overlap or the negative phase overlap? Okay, so here the head on end or head on head overlap is forming, that's why the sigma bond is formed. But here the two orbitals are the involving one is the S orbital and one is the P orbitals. Here the two orbitals are uh, involved one is the S, another is the S orbitals. Another is PP overlap. So we know that P orbitals about the P orbitals. So this is one p orbitals positive and negative and this is another p orbitals this is one p orbitals this is another p orbitals 
so when these two orbitals are going to overlap hidden overlap or end to end overlap then they are forming sigma bond okay and they are forming the sigma bond so this is the overlap and this is the pp overlap so in this way a uh, sigma bond is forming sigma bond also is a covalent bond sigma bond also is a covalent bond is a covalent bond uh, where the two electrons are equally the sharing by this a, a and also the but the sigma bond is first the sigma bond is forming by head on overlap or we can say it is a end to end overlap end to end overlap okay another another covalent bond is the pi bond it is not it is not it is not end to end overlap or it is not a head on overlap it is how it is overlapping it is the overlap by the side by side or we can say a side wise overlap it is a size wise overlap okay how it is a size wise overlapping and which orbitals actually involved to form the pi bond first of all we have to know a uh, side how the side wise overlapping is forming you see the s orbital this is is not involved here because for the s is the spherical Uh, when these two s orbitals are going to overlap it will be always head on head overlap this not the side wise overlap so so ss orbital is not ss overlapping is not capable it is not uh, for the pi bond then the sp if you see that sp overlap it is also involved a head on head overlap okay so sp also overlapping is not possible this is overlapping also is not possible what is the possible possibility is that pp overlapping but if you see the pp overlapping is forming when they are the head on head overlap then it is forming the sigma bond but when they are going to the side wise overlap then it is forming the pi bond how it is that two orbitals the nuclear axis is there these two orbitals will be parallel to each other uh, is two orbitals is parallel to each other is two p orbitals are parallel to each other and they are perpendicular perpendicular to nuclear axis so this is the nuclear axis uh, so this nuclear axis with this nuclear axis they are the perpendicular but they are the parallel uh, they are the parallel to each other when they are going to the overlap then they are forming pi bond the positive positive negative negative so this overlap is forming so it is a pp overlapping and it is uh, and it is formed the pi bond it is formed the pi bond by side wise now this pi bond is if you draw the nuclear axis this is the nuclear axis so so this is the positively and this is the negative lobe so this is the positive and this is the negative this is a positive and this is the negative so if you see first of all if you see the sigma bond the sigma bond is forming head on overlap but if you see that pi bond is forming side wise overlap according to the overlap if you see this is the strong overlap when that the extension of the overlap is greater than the extent of the overlap is higher for that case but in that case it is a lower so this overlap is not too much but it here the overlap is too much than the pi bond because if you see this overlap this is the head on head overlap okay these two orbitals are the involved huh? head on head overlap but in case of the pi bond if you see this is side wise overlap okay huh? this is the area the overlap area is very very less but in case of the overlap area is the very very high that's why uh, that's why this overlap the power of this overlap is the greater than this that one that's why we can say the sigma bond is more stronger than the pi bond okay because which bond is the stronger this is a sigma bond and the pi bond that actually depend on the overlap how much these two orbitals is overlap for that sigma bond it is a head on head overlap that's why this overlap is the more for the sigma bond but for the pi bond the overlap is not too much that's 
that's why it is a sideways overlap for the pi bond that's why it is a not stronger than the sigma bond okay so this is the strength of the sigma bond and the pi bond now i am going to another topic this is the hybridization what is the hybridization okay why this term is needed and how this term is coming so in order to explain the characteristic geometry the shape of the polyatomic molecules now the what is the polyatomic molecules the polyatomic molecules polyatomic molecules means in a molecules where in a molecules where more than one atoms are involved then we can say it is a polyatomic molecules like CH like water uh, like NH3 like the NF3 so these are the polyatomic molecules but what is the structure of this polyatomic molecule but we know that the structure but if you if you see that the structure is the uh, tetrahedra uh, this is the structure is the tetrahedra uh, but how the structure is coming up uh, we have to remember or there is the any shortcut but what is the uh, exact formula uh, to get the structure of these polyatomic molecules so to explain the structure of the polyatomic molecules Pauling introduced the concept of the hybridization we explain the Pauling introduced this hybridization term now what is the hybridization term Hybridization term is that it's like that. If you see, first I am taking about the CH4 molecules, methane molecules. Okay, for example, methane. If you see, there is five atoms. Okay, one is the carbon atoms and four the hydrogen atoms. When this molecule is forming, uh, how it is molecule is forming? Because this molecule is forming by this atomic orbital overlap of the atomic orbital overlapping of atomic orbitals of carbon and the hydrogen atom then it is forming uh, then uh, uh, but uh, uh, so overlapping of the atomic orbitals of the carbon and hydrogen they are forming the sigma bond uh, then it is forming the molecule so this term this overlapping of the two atomic orbitals uh, to explain this overlapping uh, this hybridization term is coming hybridization term is coming how question is that how because if you see this carbon so what is happening here suppose this carbon uh, this four atomic orbital atomic orbital suppose for example four atomic orbitals are involved okay are involved uh, to make molecules to make molecules so this four atomic orbitals uh, makes a hybrid orbitals makes the a, a hybrid orbitals okay so suppose there is uh, suppose uh, this carbon s orbitals one and one s orbitals and three p orbitals okay so this s and the p two real atomic orbitals uh, mixed up and they are forming sp3 hybrid orbitals uh, suppose they are, they are forming Four sp3 hybrid orbitals. Okay, these four sp3 hybrid orbitals are the equivalent to each other. They are the energy are the same. Okay, so carbon has the s and the p orbitals. I am saying here the carbon to make the CH3 CH4 molecules. This is the methane molecules. Uh, to make this methane molecules, this carbon, the s orbitals and the three p orbitals orbitals are mixed up and they are forming four sp3 hybrid orbitals okay then these hybrid orbitals are used in bond formation then these hybrid orbitals are used in bond formation so this phenomena is called the hybridization so hybridization mean is that we know that every atom has a atomic orbitals huh. suppose here i am taking about the CH4 this methane molecules methane the carbon I am taking so carbon one carbon and the four hydrogen atom is there but this carbon has the S atomic orbitals and three P atomic orbitals these two atomic orbitals are mixed up and they are forming four sp3 hybrid orbitals and these hybrid orbitals are involved in the one formation 
where the stage four molecules is forming. So this phenomena is called the hybridization. So what is happening if I draw a structure first? The atomic orbitals they are forming hybrid orbitals and these hybrid orbitals are involved bond formation and by this bond formation the molecule is formed polyatomic molecules is formed huh. this phenomena is called hybridization this phenomena is called the hybridization okay so now i am talking about different type of the hybrid orbitals uh, now i have i will talk about the hybrid orbital here is some silent features of the hybridization first silent feature is that the number of the hybrid orbitals is equal to the number of the atomic orbitals that gets the hybridized what is that suppose for that ch4 molecule okay here the carbons s orbitals one s orbitals and three p orbitals so they are forming a hybrid orbital sp3 okay so how many sp3 hybrid orbital so this is the atomic orbitals and this is the hybrid orbitals so here the four atomic orbitals are involved so number of hybrid orbital also the four so the number of atomic orbitals which are the involved in the forming the hybrid orbitals so number of the hybrid orbitals will be equal to the number of the atomic orbitals second point is that the hybridized orbitals are always the equivalent in energy and the same so here the four hybrid orbitals is forming. So these four hybrid orbitals, this four sp3 hybrid orbitals, so this is one sp3, this is another, this is also another, this is also another. So these four sp3 hybrid orbitals will have same or we can say uh, equal energy and the same. And third point is that the hybrid orbitals are the more effective in forming the stable bond than the pure atomic orbital. In the hybrid orbitals are more effective to make a bond than pure orbitals so these are the some silent features these are the some silent features about the hybrid orbitals another important features for that hybridization is the orbitals present in the valence cells of the atomic atoms are the hybridized what is that suppose the carbon it has the four electrons huh. So 1s2, 2s2, total electrons is the 6 and the 2p2. But if you see the balance cell is the 2s2 and the 2p2. Okay. So these two are so this is the balance cell. So whatever in the balance cell, whatever atomic orbitals will be there, these orbitals will be involved in the hybridization. So, so in the balance cell, uh, whatever orbitals, so here the s and the p orbitals is there. So this S and the P atomic orbitals will be involved in hybridization. For the hybridization case, if you see which atomic orbitals are involved, that is the question. Which orbitals? These are orbitals of the balance cell. Whatever balance cells, uh, uh, whatever orbitals will be present in the balance cell, uh, these orbitals actually will be involved for the hybridization case. This is the first point. Second point is that the orbitals undergoing the hybridization should have the almost the equal energy. Suppose here for that CH4, if you see 2s orbitals and this 2p orbitals, uh, this these are uh, giving uh, they, they are the going to the hybridization and they are forming sp3 orbitals, sp3 hybrid orbitals. So why these two orbitals, these two atomic orbitals will go to the hybridization? Uh, there is a point that when they are going to uh, the hybridization, that means that this 2s and the 2p, uh, these two atomic orbitals will have uh, equal or we can say uh, very close to energy, very close energy. Because if you see that for that hybridization case, uh, if when I, I will discuss about the molecular orbital theory, then the energy term actually will come where we can say or we can see that this s orbitals and this p orbitals will have the very uh, will have the very actually close energy uh, that's why they are going to the hybridization phenomena third point is that promotion of the electron is not essential condition 
prior to the hybridization so there is will be no promotion so there will be no promotion no promotion is not essential fourth point is that it is not necessary that only the half-filled orbital participate in hybridization in some cases if you see even the field orbitals of the valencials also the part, part participated so half cell half field actually orbital sorry half field orbitals simultaneously full field orbitals also orbitals also can participate in hybridization okay so not only the half field cell of the valence cell uh, it also will be the full field okay so full field and the half field both orbitals uh, full field and the half field, both orbitals actually will be involved in the hybridization case so there are the various type of the hybridization i am just going to list out various types of the hybridization first is the sp hybridization uh, what is that sp hybridization uh, so here s atomic orbitals and the p atomic orbitals these two atomic orbitals are the involved so this is one this is one okay these two atomic orbitals are the involved uh, to make this sp hybridite uh, uh, hybrid orbitals so they will form two sp hybrid then the sp2 here the 1s 1s and the 2p what is that 1s orbitals and the 2p orbitals are they involved so total is the three atomic orbitals are involved so they will form the three sp2 hybrid orbitals another if you see this is the sp3 so here one s orbital is involved and the three p orbitals is involved so total the four atomic orbitals are the involved uh, to form this sp3 hybrid orbitals so they will form the four sp3 hybrid orbitals again after the s and the p orbitals after the s and the p orbitals if i go to the d orbitals also so there is that d sp2 so one s orbital is involved two p orbitals is involved and one d orbital is involved so total there is four four dsp2 hybrid orbitals similarly sp3d here one s orbital is involved three p orbital is involved and one d orbitals so total here the five uh, sp3d hybrid orbitals then the sp3d2 one s orbital is involved three p orbital is involved and two d orbital is involved so total here six sp3 d2 hybrid orbitals will be formed so these are the hybrid orbitals uh, is forming from the uh, overlapping of the atomic orbitals so number of the atomic orbitals will be the number of the hybrid orbitals okay so these are the actually hybrid orbitals now the hybridization when these orbitals when this type of the hybrid orbitals the sp hybrid orbital sp2 hybrid orbitals and sp3 hybrid orbitals uh, dsp2 sp3d and sp3d2 these hybrid orbitals will uh, go to the uh, uh, go to the bond formation uh, go to the bond formation then we can say it is a sp hybridization then this phenomena is called the hybridization then we can say it is a sp hybridization it is a sp2 hybridization it is a sp3 hybridization it is a sp3 d2 hybridization okay so hybridization is sp hybridization sp2 hybridization sp3 hybridization this hybridization terms actually come from the hybrid orbitals uh, which hybrid orbitals actually involved in the bond formation according to the name of the hybrid orbitals we can say it is a sp hybridization it is a sp2 hybridization it is a sp3 hybridization okay so this is the uh, orbitals where the uh, sigma bond and the pi bond already i have set here and uh, which uh, the uh, uh, atomic orbitals and how these atomic orbitals is going to the hybrid orbitals they are the forming uh, 
and uh, how many types of the hybridization is possible and in the hybridization which atomic orbitals are involved and the number of the atomic orbitals will be the number of the hybrid orbitals. So in the next class, I will uh, discuss about the step by step, one by one, the SP hybridization, SP2 hybridization, all the hybridization I will discuss in the next class and uh, which is the how, how this hybridization actually uh, forming. Uh, uh, all the hybridization actually, all the hybridization forming from the electronic configuration. Uh, you have to draw first the electronic configuration according to this electronic configuration. Uh, this type of the hybridization uh, is capable, is forming for that molecules. We can say for that electronic configuration. So today, here I am going to stop the today's class. But in the next class, I will discuss about various type of the hybridization.